President Biden is calling on Congress to suspend the federal gas tax for the rest of the summer to help ease the pain at the pump. Here's a look at where gas prices stand right now in our area. According to AAA, the national average is 4.96 for a gallon of gas, a regular gallon of gas. In southeastern Pennsylvania, the average is about 5.03 a gallon. In South Jersey, drivers are paying 4.90 a gallon on average, and in Delaware, prices dropped a penny to 4.94 per gallon on average. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe has a closer look now at the potential impact of a gas tax holiday. I mean, they're so high already. I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. You know, it's 540 for gas right now. With gas prices at this gas station on Spring Garden Street at 539 a gallon, some drivers are questioning how saving 18 cents a gallon will help them. If you're trying to get down the shore, it's like 40 bucks one way, 40 bucks coming home. So it's not easy. But that's what the president wants to do. He's proposing a federal gas tax holiday. It would equal about 18 cents a gallon. It doesn't reduce all the pain, but it would be a big help. I'm doing my part. He's also asking for states to eliminate their gas taxes, but similar to the federal government, states use their revenue from gas taxes to fund infrastructure projects. That prompted a representative in Delaware Governor John Carney's office to tell Eyewitness News they would not issue a gas tax holiday. Now, this holiday will need congressional approval, but some are questioning how much relief you'll actually see in your wallet. It is a drop in the bucket as far as uh, it goes for consumers and you and I filling up our gas tanks. It, it'll, it'll help a little bit, but not much. Dr. Wojtek Wolf is a political science professor at Rutgers Camden. He says in the short term, a gas tax holiday might be politically expedient for the president, but says it will do little if long term energy policies aren't updated. On a global scale, he says it'll be years before higher gas and energy prices go down. It's no longer a political issue, it's now an economic issue, a physics issue, a geological issue. Issue. Howard Monroe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. And the gas tax isn't the only story making headlines today.